well, we, I think we all would like one place to go, have one, you know, one resource to find the data that we're looking for. Um, and this is, this is our start. Um, so first, a, you know, a big thank you to the folks involved uh, with, the, with the website project. Um, Brian, who's opened over there on the other side, um, has been instrumental in getting this up and running, as well as Doug, Rajan, and Richard. Um, Keith played a big part, and so did Kristen. She's, um, you know, she's been great in getting this website up and running. Um, we'll go into the website in a second, and we'll display it, but just want to talk to the, to the email list. There were, I think, 47 at one point. Um, different, you know, email lists with the with the tag LSP in it. We've whittled that down so that you know, UVA LSP is the is the big one. That's where most of all of our conversations take place, uh, which it should, and that's where we want it to be. I mean, if there's a question, you can put it out to to UVA LSP. The off topic. Um, so, and again, I sent out the etiquette statement. You know. A couple of days ago, uh, if it doesn't fall within the realm of of the UBS, UBA LSP, then off top off topic is the place for it. I mean that you know that's our that's where we can say whatever you know all right, not whatever you want, but hey, I have it. <laughs> you know you want to share something interesting and it's not really you know tech related, so um, just put, put it there. Uh, and there, there was a little glitch with uh, off target. It's fixed now, so uh, yeah, we sorted that out. It, um, and if anybody finds glitches in any of the stuff, it's day one, right? So please let us know. We will fix it as fast as we can. Um, so you have pictures of your new dog. You want to get rid of puppies. You have a guitar to sell. Off topic is the place to go. Um, LSP Studio, pretty straightforward. If anyone has a question. You want to direct it to just the steering committee and the LSP coordinator, send it there. Um, same goes for the tag. If you've got a question directly, you want to get to the tag folks, that's where you go. Um, and then the LSP coordinator, um, I mean, you could you send an email to Kristen, but you could also send it there. So, um, so if the, you send it to LSP coordinator, it goes to a bunch of people on the DCS team. Oh, it does. So okay. it goes to Michael Sturgis and Keith Donnelly. So if I'm out of the office or whatever, and you need something fast, it's probably better email. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't clear on that. Okay, no problem. Um, so, getting to today's big news, we um, so we've tried. We're, again, this is this is day zero, day one. It's not the end all, be all. It's not what the website is going to look like for you know here on you know in, in a week, in a month, in a year. But it's a starting point, and. I think it's a good one. So uh, it's hosted on a WordPress site. Um, we, there's a lot of information there. Um, and we've tried to consolidate as much as we can. And we're, we've, we're keeping LSPedia up and running as is. You know, I remember we brought it up at the picnic and, you know, to figure out we kind of, you almost need a central administrator for. LSPedia because there's a lot of stuff there. It's kind of you know it's sometimes it's hard to get data to display the way you want it to. Um, so we're trying to make it easy, but LSPedia is still there. It's not going away. Um, but we've tried to incorporate the data that's in LSPedia on the new site. So we're working on that. Um, and so today at three o'clock. We're going to flip the switch. The old site, you know, uh, is still there, um, but it just it was out of date. We we hadn't put anything up there. So now we're trying to, you know, we've got one place, we've got one central location. We want everyone to go. Um, if you you know you're looking for something, that's where you find it. <laughs> so without further ado, um, I'll show you guys if you haven't seen it yet. So, um, so this is what the old site looked like. Um, this is the one we're replacing. Right. So if anybody picks another site, <laughs> this is the I put this in here because this is the one. If you you if you're missing your news from the 17th of July 2008, or you really wanted that contact form that's broken, or the Google that's not working, or 
the training opportunities from February 2010. Sorry, it's gone. We're, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the new site, uh, or a slide of it. Um, I can, I can can go yeah, we can go through a lot. Um, but the bottom line, uh, 3 o'clock today, the new site's going to be up and running. I encourage you guys all to go there. Um, what we've got, what I think is going to be really helpful to everyone is there's up in the upper right, left hand corner, you'll see there's a, a calendar. Um, where to go? So if over you here. You want to click on the main thing, you can go you on can go. it and apply. Uh, uh, you have to mouse to the link. Sorry guys, hold on. Tech support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. No, it's coming. It's coming. Ah. <laughs> tech support, tech support. You, this is not the lady you want doing tech support. Um, so this is huge. I, I really like this feature. So anything that's bolded you're going to get an automatic info and you can you know, drill down and actually see what's on, what's coming up what on that day. Um, and it's good for mobile devices, this design. So everybody that's looking at it on their iPhone, if you're looking at or whatever mobile device. All mobile devices. Hmm. All versions. All versions. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Um, in the middle here, you'll see um, <laughs> We've got scrolling RSS feeds, and this is where Brian really came through. So you've got we've got feeds from uh, all you know UVA centric uh, locations, as well as um, some feeds from some Macworld is in here, uh, the ITS Facebook. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but there's a lot of information here. So you know we want your feedback. Uh, I encourage everyone to go, take a look at the site, you know, tell us what you think, um, what's missing, what do you like, what do you don't like, um, uh, you know, this is our online presence, so we want it to be a group initiative, and we want, we want feedback, so. It's not personal, so if anybody. Whatever, we tried to do an exercise of figuring out what LSPs would find valuable, and we tried to, prevent, to provide an area where there's a lot of dynamically generated content from sources that we think are of interest. We might have totally missed the boat, so feel free to reply and let us know what direction it should be going in, whatever. There's a search that you can do, so, you know, in an ideal world, we'll get to a point where some of the troubleshooting that we do, like there was a bunch of stuff on the mess list the other day about boot camp and that um, because the blog format, you can go ahead and comment on it and not worry about the etiquette of the UVA LSP list of everybody seeing everything in between, but you can comment on it, it's searchable, it stays there, it's indexed by Google, and you can see the, the history of it. If, the, if yeah. the middle group is, is a kind of an amalgamation of RSS feeds, is there one RSS feed of that? Mr. Wright, do you want to answer that? Yes. Mr. Wright awesome. is like the RSS guru. I mean, you do a demo. If you scroll down, Sean, on the yep. left there are categories, so you can pick out a particular feed. Oh, yeah, over here. By, by category type of view. So uh, they'll come in as, uh, Brian, they'll come in category hashtags. So yeah, so you'll see here at the bottom of any post, are categorized. Right. Yeah. So awesome. you know, so if you don't want to see the whole list and you're just interested in one part, you can click on that part, it'll display that, and you can get the RSS feed for that category of topics. So if you want to subscribe to the accessioning category, you can subscribe to that instead of the whole feed if you want as well. That's awesome. Okay, for losers and RSS feeds, how do you subscribe to the feed? A uh, million different ways. Google Reader is one common one people use. You can do it in Outlook. You can get them delivered right to Outlook if you like. Um, and then, you know, if you've got a mobile device, there's uh, a million different apps you can use to subscribe to RSS feeds. And, um, feed Reader, or what, what is the big one? The, uh, feed flip Burner. Book, or flip feed, book, burner. Or feed Burner or Flip Booker. So if books. you don't have enough places to check for stuff, this gives you the opportunity <laughs> 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 to look at it. Right. 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 